There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's Diva. up? This video is being brought to you today by BB Baby. For closure wig, this this turned out great. Like it bleached so nice, and we're just gonna see how this works out. So I'm definitely gonna show you guys how your wig comes. I did forget to sew an elastic band, but life can't get any better for me sometimes. We just gonna jump right into this. Hey guys, so when you receive your wig from VV Baby, it'll come in their standard box, which is really colorful. You'll also receive one of their stock cards, which will have a QR reader on the back, which will give you all of your discounts and updates. VV Baby will also provide a two-piece wig cap, which you can use to protect your hair from the unit. You'll also receive the amenities such as some of their 3D mink lashes. These lashes are absolutely gorgeous, very full and long, and if you love lashes, then I'm pretty sure you'll love to receive one of these as a free gift. The unit that I received is their 22 inch 4x4, 250% density Mongolian straight closure unit. There are many different densities of this unit to choose from, such as 180, 150, and 250. There are also different lengths. BB Baby is also available on Amazon with many different units available as well. The lace on this unit is absolutely gorgeous and it was easy to blend. When I received the wig, I did go ahead and bleach it with some of my 30 volume developer along with my bleach and allowed it to sit on the unit for about 45 minutes to an hour. Once it was dry, I then pre-plucked the unit, just thinning the hairline out to make it look a little bit more natural. I'll leave all of the information down below for VB Baby as they have many different units to choose from. And as I stated, they're also available on Amazon. guys so this video I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this unit to my head so that's the reason why I'm cleaning off my hairline if you do have any makeup on oils or debris it's really important to clean your hairline off the unit does have the three combs in the front and the one in the nape with the adjustable strap you want your wig unit a lot tighter or a little bit more snug you can definitely take your elastic band and sew that in but for this unit I'm just gonna wing it girl and wear it like this the wig was really easy to bleach. The hair lifted just really nicely and easy to pluck. It's 250% density and it's 22 inches in length. So what I'm gonna do right now, you guys already know, is the normal. I'm going to put my wig clips in because I like using my wig clips just to keep the hair out your face. So if you don't have none, go to your local Dollar Tree girl and get you some. And I'm gonna just try something a little bit different. Well, this is not really different, but I decided to go ahead and press the hair a little bit more. And the hot comb that I have is available at Walmart. It was $20. It's by the Addis brand, I think that's how you pronounce it. But I'll leave the information down below. You can also pick it up on Amazon as well. And I just went ahead and pressed down the hairline. And now I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm just going to make a part across the front perimeter of the unit. And this is what I like to do to adhere the unit. I do like to make a part in the front portion so that way I can spray my hairspray or any type of adhesive that I'm going to use. I like to adhere that in between the hairs.
Now for today's video, I'm gonna be using the Got To Be Glam Force, which I absolutely love. This product is kind of hard to find now. I usually get it on Amazon. I get three cans for like $20 or something like that. But I'll also switch it up to the bed head as well. And I just take my blow dryer on a cool to medium heat and I just, you know, blow dry that area. And I also use my rat tail comb to press down into the lace as well just to make sure that it's pressed on good. Now if you don't have a blow dryer, you can just spray in small sections because the hairspray does dry really quickly. And then once that's dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and comb the hair back. And I'm also going to use some of my hairspray in the front portion just to make sure that the unit is laid down properly and adheres. If you use this hairspray, you'll get about a good three to four day hold, it, but it also depends on your body chemistry. There's many different ways that you can apply your wig. This is one way. There's different ways that I also apply it as well. But I try to do it as easy as possible. And then I'm gonna take my small pair of curved scissors and I'm just gonna kinda like jaggedly cut into the lace. I try not to cut a straight blunt cut across because it's more noticeable. BB Baby, this is the first time I've ever worked with them. But so far, this wig came out nice, you know what I mean? I'm not like the hugest fan of closure wigs, but we all know that during this time with the COVID, there's not a lot of lace that's being made or something like that in China. So, you know, we had to revert back to the closure wigs. But you know, closure wigs are still good, especially for those who don't like to do the front tools or whatever. This is how we all started out. So, you know, I'm gonna just try to finesse this the best I can. Now the issue that I was having with this wig was, if you can see right there where I'm parting at, they kind of sewed the track up a little bit too close. I wish they would have showed the track back a little bit more, so that way it didn't kind of protrude towards the front. It's an easy fix. You can definitely just keep a little bit of hairs and swoop them over it, or you can just cut it back yourself. I just left it alone because I didn't really notice that until the video. I'm just gonna take my scissors again and I'm just gonna make me some wispy hair, some flyaway hairs, or some baby hairs, whatever you wanna call them. This step is optional. You know what I'm saying, girl? It's optional. Now I'm gonna take my Dollar Tree Styling Mousse, which I love, and this is the Salon Selectors. This, this Styling Mousse been out forever, you guys. This is what I do with my hairs in the front hairline. I will take my rat tail comb and kind of like push the hairs towards the front so that way the front hairline is not laying so flat. I like to kind of like have the hair stand up so that way it looks more like it's growing out of the scalp. And this is where I'm just going to try to cover that piece where I was telling you that the track was coming like growing or not growing but just was sewn out a little bit too much that's where i'm going to kind of like cover that you know and then i'm going to just take my hot comb and be very careful when you're using hot comb unless you want a hot comb burn and i'm just going to kind of like straighten the hair out in the front and then i'm also going to do that on the sides as well now do you see where i was talking about about the track right there you know you definitely have to camouflage that but you know, check them out. They are available on Amazon. They have their units on Amazon. They also have their own website and their prices are pretty decent. For this one right here, 250% uh, density, 22 inches, virgin Mongolian hair, it was 160, which isn't bad. On Amazon, of course, you will see the prices a little bit less. I'm gonna just take some of my pressed powder and I'm just going to go into the part with that because I just want it to look a little bit more scalpish like and just hook it up, girl. You just wanna be light-handed when you're using the pressed powder because trust me, sometimes I get a little bit heavy-handed and um, mm -hmm, 
be a little bit too much more makeup on there. Now for this part, you know the normal, I'm just going to take my styling tool and I'm going to hook this unit up. And you're just going to definitely repeat the same steps on the opposite side. When you're curling hair, it's always good to have like some clips so that way you can hold the curls in place instead of holding them by hand. You want to at least hold the curls in place until the hair cools off so that way the curl will stay. You know, I did spray some hairspray prior to putting the heat on it, but the hair curl is really easy. I'm just going to do like some really big curls in this because I really didn't feel like it, like curling the hair that much. But I think I might have went a little bit too heavy handed on the actual pressed powder. But you know, hey, we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. And I'm going to see you guys on the other side with the rest of my commentary. finito look for bb baby 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 but you know i had a little tweaking to do the only thing that i have an issue with is it's kind of like the way it's sewn right here this track it you you're gonna have to either push it back some or kind of like thin it out right here or cut it more off but than that you know it's a decent density you know if you want it fuller you can definitely cut some layers into it and it'll look fuller you know what i'm saying that's what you can do especially if it's like a low density you no know, I, I did the lazy girl curl because i really didn't feel like curling it today I, definitely check the description box below and i love you all i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys have a great week and and I will see you in the next one. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the rockets on them. Big mans can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.